everyone welcome again to njs coaching football and thank you for watching my channel i i do really appreciate it today in my ongoing sim pressure series playlist i'm going to share with you another one of our uh, mike linebacker simulated pressures that we call monty okay and so now on subscribers you have to push the button but for my subscribers we're going to continue utilizing the left and right two different versions of our sim pressure disguise i'm going to show it to you clockwise starting up here with pacific first thing though over here it's monty single plug sim pressure it's in our this video is in our five front system which is our three down package three defensive linemen and i'll go through the uh, terms over here on the agenda and then i'll bring it to life for you okay so first up, single plug, this is what I call a single plug concept, right? We have one inside linebacker blitzing B-gap. So here you go, not subscribe is freebie. To us, a plug is a second or third level defender blitzing B-gap to B-gap. So it's either an A or B-gap blitz and only one defender, right? So therefore, it's a four-man pressure. The second thing here, and this is the most important aspect of this and all the sim pressure videos. How do you convince your players that it's the same pressure? Because it's the same assignment. But yet, you know, you have a defensive end lining head up on a center, as an example, when they're normally, you know, on or outside the offensive tackle area. Sometimes they might be a four eye, but they're never near the center. <laughs> Right. And yet you're telling him, oh, it's the same assignment. You got to get the C gap. Right. So we utilize this concept and we do it in the spring. We do it in early in the preseason and it just continues all year round in our football. OK. It's simply this different starting point. Yes. Same end point. Yes. Okay, so you're starting in a different place, but you, your assignment remains the exact same. So please, the, the point is, don't assume that you tell your players the same assignment, oh, you know, everything's perfect, right? Because you, you, you have players, some are good, they're all excited because they hear all this new stuff, yet they have no idea what they're doing. They just go out there full speed and do the wrong thing. And then you have players who are the opposite. They get absolutely so overwhelmed, they freeze and they do nothing. Right. And then you got players in between. So you got to be very, very careful, diligent, never assuming that your players, just because you tell them same assignment, that everything's going to be great. So you really got to work hard at this. All right. And I'm not sure that'll come through in the diagrams but i'm certainly going to do my best and then number three you know how does it affect the coverage well for us okay and i purposely have it versus the same formation it's a three by one four wide receiver ten personnel formation we spin the coverage to the three receiver side that's our three by one rule so it doesn't matter if the pressure is coming from the one receiver side, we're still spinning the safeties or the coverage to the three receiver side. Okay. So we just say you're going to spin to the three receivers. That's an automatic. So is that the case for every one of our pressures? Not necessarily. So again, you can't assume that oh, your players are just going to automatically know, right? Don't ever assume anything. OK, so that's the effect on the coverage. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start here with Pacific and go to Atlantic, Mass and Cali. And it's going to be the exact same pressure each time. Monty. OK. So our defensive line is underlined. And our Mike linebacker, M, is boxed in, right? So he's lined up on the right, it's a Ringo. He's lined up on the left, it's a Lucky. For us, the way we do it, when he's stacked over the center, it's a Ringo. Okay? 
Now you notice I have first and second. Well, as I go through the assignments, okay, it'll make sense why the defensive lineman has to go first and the Mike linebacker has to punch out and go second. So starting here, all right, <clears throat> Monty, Ringo, Mike's going to be in B gap. So therefore, the stud, who normal again, non-subscribers push the button. The stud who's in the C gap stays in the C gap. So he's got to go first. So our Mike linebacker pushes off his front foot, right? P punch out. Pew! So he's simulating. He's coming. Now he's punching out. So the hope is the offensive line lose track of him. For the nose, he goes A gap away from the call. So that would be the left A gap. I mean, A gap to the call, excuse me. And the end just stays in his C gap. So the mic, punch out, push off that up foot, which is your inside foot, the one closest to the ball. He sees the stud cross his face. Now he plugs B gap. Okay? So, again, the hope is the guard sees him punch out when he has a guy cross his face. Our hope is the guard gets caught up with the defensive lineman. Since the tackle has a backer on him, our hope is, is that his eyes focus on the backer. So, now, what we have here in terms of coverage, before I do anything else, okay, I got the four-man pressure, a defensive lineman and the mic. We're in what we call a Rob combo, Rover back, Rob. They have the back. So what that means, okay, we're in a Louie because the three receivers are left. Liz, the outside linebacker who literally is outside by alignment on the snap runs to the other side. So we have a linebacker on the left part of the center. And we have a backer on the right of the center so they can combo the running back. No matter which way the back goes, he's accounted for. Okay, so that takes care of that. As far as the coverage is concerned, ace, deuce, tray. Number one, number two, number three. On the snap, three, the falcon screws down. The whip. Rotates middle, and the corner over on this side is also ace on the number one receiver. So that's how our Pacific Monty Thunder would look. Over here on the Atlantic, now the mic's on the left, so it's a lucky call. He's still got to punch out. C gap, A gap to the call, plug the B gap. C gap to the call. I apologize here. It doesn't look as though my black lines are getting showing up too well. There we go. Perfect. Okay. And that's how Monty looks. So now, <clears throat> excuse me, we have a bad combo. Because the backer and the dime are lined up opposite of each other here. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the rover is also lined up to the same as three receiver side. So now we have ace, deuce, tray. Okay. He will also come back, punch out. So now we have our linebackers on either side instead of both being on the same side. So what this does not take into account is if the running back on the snap runs in either direction, now the linebacker goes and hugs him up. And so the other linebacker would become a spy in the quarterback. And then everything stays the same. Screw down, ace, deuce, tray, middle of the field, ace. Down here, remember, when the, as I said at the beginning of the – presentation when the mic is stacked over the center he's going to go to the right so it's a ringo call he's still a second so now 
that's pretty easy it's going to be a lot quicker look but because both are covered up here the thought is no one's going to be available to take the mike linebacker we're back to having the two linebackers responsible for the running back and combo rob on the same side so on the snap he is going to race to the other side so again we have our combo on either side of the center so he will be in chase it's not the greatest if there is a chance just to answer the question that this guy is going to run into the flat as an example Okay, pre-snap, have your guy get started a little bit early. They still don't necessarily know what the blitz is and who's blitzing. So if you're afraid or you know for a fact that this back is going to race to the other side, if you're going to keep continue with mass in this case, then have them get started early. Otherwise, what I would do is I would go with Pacific or Cali, so the linebackers are already to the uh, to the right. If you can predetermine that the three receivers are going to be left, you, you see what I'm trying to say. So when you know a back's going to go to the single receiver side, and you can get tendencies, you know, balls on the right hash, so they're going to put the three receivers to the big field, right? You can set it up that way, okay? And as always, any questions, just Email me at coachmjsullivan at gmail.com, and we'll get on it with you, okay? So then again, it's Louie to the three receivers, ace, deuce, tray. All right, now the dime is already there. That's pretty simple. Ace, rotate middle. Now we got Cali, right? So see what I mean? This thing's already taken care of if you're worried about that um, running back getting out into the flat. So what we like to do is we like to utilize our whip safety to take care of number three. So we go ace, deuce, tray. This dime outside linebacker is more often than not a hybrid and or it is the fifth defensive back. So on the snap, we're comfortable dropping him into the middle of the field, rocking down, and then we call it the poach. Three, so three's vertical. He's got him. If three's out, he's in a chase position, but he's going to be the shortest guy in the route. We're not as concerned with that. And we still got ace. We got the Rob combo. So again, same deal. Get to the other side. He's going to punch out. So we have our running back combo. All right, so nose goes A gap to the call, defensive end, C gap to the call. Mike linebacker watches the stud cross the B gap, and then he heads in. So the nose and the mic should be penetrating A and B roughly the same time. Okay, so that's a lot for an offense to look at. So as I said at the beginning, I appreciate you watching my channel. If you ever have any questions, please. Feel free to reach out to me at CoachMJSullivan at gmail.com. We're not on the road recruiting. We're recruiting like crazy. We get visits and all that. But nonetheless, I'm available. I'll get back to you hopefully, usually within 24 hours, if not sooner. Thank you and have a great day.